Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you a new type of video. I'm going to be opening up a booster box of Flesh and Blood. This is the unlimited edition of Arcane Rising. I actually am super super new to this game, so forgive me if I get something wrong. But uh, I mostly just wanted to open this booster box and get my first impressions and see what the game is about. And my cat is screaming, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Uh, cat demanded to be let in. Alright, flesh and blood, booster box. Let's get into it. Cat, please. Let's see, how many booster packs? 24 booster packs, okay. Pretty average amount. I think uh, for like normal booster boxes, I think Magic the Gathering is the most at 36, but most games tend to have uh, 24 booster packs. Um, so let's begin, just try to put this so everything's in frame. And I've kind of done some research on like what's good, what's not, and um, Hopefully I'm not too lost on what we're seeing here. And okay, so here's our rare. Um, so the rarity is actually here in the corner. I don't know if you can see that. This is a little C. So I'm just gonna separate these in like their rarity. So the rares. And then commons. T. What does T mean? Also, I'm a really big fan of these packs. They look really, really nice. They're like a... I don't know. They're like really shiny. I like shiny packs. And then the style of like the pack itself reminds me of a... Uh, Reminds me of like a mix of like Yu-Gi-Oh packs and like Japanese Magic the Gathering packs. Kitty cat, please excuse you. Sorry about that, I was just trying to get the uh, camera to focus a little bit better. Hopefully I can learn um, how to play this game soon. I don't know anyone in person that like actually knows how to play, so I'm gonna have to learn on my own. Uh, if you know any like really good tutorials, please throw them my way so I can take a look. Oh, so this is a good one. Um, M is Majestic. Um, I believe that one's one of the uh, moderately pricey ones. Sorry about the noises in the background. My cat uh, is very interested to see what's going on. He likes the, uh, the crinkly noise of the packs. Oh yeah, you want the crinkles? You want the crinkles? Come over here. Away from the camera, please. There you go. I also, um, really like the cardstock on these cards. I mean, it's not hard to um, be better cardstock than uh, Magic the Gathering, but they, they need to have better cardstock than Magic the Gathering. That is for sure. Alright, so here's our Majestic card. That looks super sweet.
I also looked up like all the rarities of the cards and they have interesting names for the rarities. I didn't like the sticks such as common, rare, super rare. Oh no, they, this game does have super rares. They just kind of got a little crazy with the, um, the rarities. And um, as far as the experience that I have with this card game, you guys may know that uh, I work at a card store. So I get to kind of gauge the interest of the community firsthand on like what kind of hype there is for this card game. And at first, at least in my area, a little bit of context, I live in uh, Southern California. I think this game is more popular in the East Coast of the, the United States. Anyways, when this card game first came out, we got a bunch of boxes in at the shop and they were like the the first few sets i guess i guess the first when the first 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 set came out we got um we got a bunch of boxes in sorry i keep pausing i'm just like looking at all the artwork of the cards they look really sweet Artwork kind of reminds me of like, what was that really old card game? Sorry, I'll complete my, my story right now. That really old game, like Three Rings, like Legends. It's been so long. Someone will know what I'm talking about. Anyways, um, card store. Yes. I, uh, we received the initial wave of like the first product. Okay, I can open this pack. And initially there was like no interest in it whatsoever and the store that i the store that i worked at we tend to get like every new card game regardless if there's interest or not get at least like a few booster boxes of like their first set and then go from there usually there'll be someone that buys it even if we <gasps> wait why is this back back is this just oh it's a double-sided card oh this must be like your hero kind of thing But yeah, after we got those initial boxes, like, no one, no one wanted them. At all. Is this a good one? What rarity is this? S, is that super rare? I'll put this to the side. And then after people were like, probably like two months after we got the first wave of the product, uh, someone came in and bought like, all of it so then i was like oh there's some money in this card game and so we were discussing at work like these cards and this game being worth a lot of money and a lot of people are making moves in this game people are like financially specking on a lot of cards and doing things in that sort of realm if i'm being honest i still don't a hundred percent get what the hype is about this game but i'm willing to learn because, I mean, I like card games. Anyways, I'm willing to learn and then maybe I'll get a little bit of a glimpse into this card game and why a lot of people love it so much. Recently, um, within the last like month or so, uh, we still get like a call here and there of like people asking for this set, but not as much as like other card games. Oh, this one's foil. I didn't even know there were foil cards. It's a majestic high octane. And it's shiny. That is really nice. I don't know what something like. Like, I, I don't have all the card names memorized, but I kind of know, like, which ones. Like, of, like, the most, most expensive cards on this site, I, like, looked up. And then I looked up, like, the rarities. And then I was talking to a friend about, like... How crazy the rarities are in this game. Like, there's, like, a rarity that you only get in, like... I don't even know how many booster boxes it was, but, like, an insane amount of booster boxes, and, like, you maybe get one. Rares. Here. Oh, this one's shiny. Did I miss some shinies? The, the foiling in this game is... I don't think the best... 
not super impressed with the uh the foiling it reminds me of the foiling in did anyone ever play the game kaijudo it's like barely there foiling and it looks like like for example in this one it looks like it's only in the in select parts of the artwork i don't know if you can see if i can focus on that picking up on it how the foiling is only on like the smoke of the card which gives a cool effect though but like i almost missed that it was foil this one has multiple rares and then this one is foil i almost missed it it's a rare a foil rare right here also didn't look up like if you're guaranteed a certain amount of like rares or foils in each like pack or box let me see does it say odds here oh i think it says right here one token one equipment 11 commons one rare one rare or higher one premium foil so i probably missed a lot of foils that are like barely there foiling. It says no specific card rarity or type is guaranteed to exist within an individual pack, box, or case. So I guess you just get what you get. Hmm. Not a big fan of that. I like when they guarantee something. Like I'm buying this box and there'll be at least one of like a specific rarity. I think that's traditionally been the appeal of booster boxes. Um, other than, like, you get a bunch of packs. So here's a rare. Uh, as I'm assuming is super rare. Just still trying to get, like, acquainted with these cards and, like, packs and the order of them. I do really love, like, opening... A booster box of a game I've never played for the first time or like a booster box of like a card game that I've never opened a booster box of if that makes any sense like everything is so new and exciting oh this one's foil almost missed it I'm gonna have to go back in here and then see all the foils that I missed because I probably missed a good amount of them there's probably a bunch of foil comments in here that I missed because I've been staring pretty intently at the rares and higher. It's a rare. This is the foil. I think that's foil. Ah, you can barely tell the foil against some of these cards. Excuse you. good things about this card game though from the people that do actually know how to play and are playing it and not just like trying to make money off this game because there are quite a few people being like there's money in it how can i uh get some of this money but um i've talked to some people that play the card game that come into the shop that i work at and they have nothing but good things to say about it they always rave about the gameplay and how good it is I think uh, right now, the games that have stood out to me as, oops, the games right now that have stood out to me um, from like the way people talk about them is this game has, like the people in the fan base. I mean, um, this game has fans that really, really rave about the gameplay and the other game that has fans like that is Digimon right now, the people that play Digimon um rave about the gameplay as well oh there's another foiling almost missed also sorry about the noise in the background my cat is in crackhead mode and he's like just trying to run everywhere and knock things down so another thing um please let me know in the comments if you play this game slash if you think it's fun slash any resources you can point me to oh 
Oh, there's oil common. Rares here. Got a few more packs left in here. Um, what's the rarity higher than majestic? Is it legendary? Yeah, I think there's legendary, and then there's also fabled. Right? Yeah, fabled's the like super crazy rarity that like no one gets, and then if you do, like money, <laughs> fork lightning foil that looks really sweet super rare foil here's our comments does T just mean token are these tokens and not actually cards you put in your deck Oil coming. How many packs do we have left? Also, before anyone asks, no, these are not for sale or trade, so just be aware. Super rare. Ooh, this common is sweet. Although, I will admit, I'm not a huge fan of the foiling in this game, as I said before. I'm the type of person that believes that more is more. <laughs> I want to look at a foil card and just be blown away and be like, Fireworks everywhere. I like super crazy foiling. Oh, this one's well. Right? Is that. You can barely tell with these foils. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Am I the only one that is that believes that more is more when it comes to foiling? Alright, two more bucks. Like, for example, games like Pokemon and Dragon Ball 2. Excuse you. Stepping on my cards. Uh, the Dragon Ball card game has crazy foiling. Um, I really like the foiling, um, I think my favorite foiling process ever that I've ever seen is probably Yu-Gi-Oh's Ghost Rare, and then, um, I also, ooh, foil rare, um, I also really like, um, Yu-Gi-Oh's, um, Ultimate Rares, um, and similarly, uh, Pokemon's full art, um, their full art, um, cards. Alright, last pack. Just crank this open. Just two rares. Wah, wah. Alrighty, thank you for watching. Um, this has been um, my first impressions. Uh, I like the cardstock. I like the overall, like, aesthetic design of the cards. The artwork is not my favorite, but I don't dislike it. I think there's a certain charm to it. Excuse you. Excuse you. Um, the foiling is probably my least favorite. I really like the card back. Card back is really nice. I guess i'm gonna have to learn how to play to be able to judge that i also don't like that there's a rarity that's so hard to get that they name it fabled like 
uh, I'm just like not a fan of like those super crazy lottery cards. I think if it's a card that's playable and that's the only way to get it, I don't think you should make it so hard to get that people have to pay hundreds of dollars or buy cases of cards to be able to pack one. I don't I don't like that at all. But I won't give up on it. I feel like before I can fully, fully and truly judge this game, I have to learn how to play it. So I'll let you guys how that one goes in my next flesh and blood video hopefully when a new booster box comes out i can get it and then we can see but uh, these were our majestic cards we got one majestic foil and uh two majestic non-foils and since no rarity is guaranteed i'd like to see what the average is for people that open these boxes like is this normal and also there know that there's a rarity above this called legendary and a rarity above that called fabled um i think that's the order please correct me if i'm wrong but uh until the next one thank you everyone for watching bye